vetoed a lot of very good bills, and particularly disturbing was he vetoed over 130 bills because he didn't have time to read them. And under the California Constitution, Article 4, Section 10, the Constitution gives the governor the authority to look at bills and veto them if he doesn't like them or sign them into law if he does. And so the following charge I'm going to make, I don't make lightly, but it is a dereliction of duty for the California governor to veto over 130 bills without even looking at them. And if you read his veto message, it suggests he didn't have time to do it because of the historic budget delay. Well, guess what? He created and helped in this budget delay. And more importantly, he had time because he had time while bills were sitting on his desk to go to the Republican State Convention. He had time while bills were sitting on his desk to go and speak at different cities across the state. And if he had time to do all that, then certainly he had the time to do the work that the California Constitution charges him with doing. And so at the end of the day, not only was he very disrespectful of the legislative process, but he was very disrespectful of all the people of California that supported these bills, the groups that supported these bills, the people that came up and testified, groups such as the California Police Officer Association, the State Sheriff's Association, numerous civil rights groups, groups that supported bills that passed unanimously without any opposition, bipartisan support, both houses of the legislature, and he vetoed them because he just didn't care to spend time looking at them. That is unacceptable.